Like many of the world's cities, San Francisco was built around the automobile. Vast freeways feed a congested network of city streets and a downtown dominated by cars. But now the city's transport agency is calling time on what it considers the technology of the past. Cities have unfortunately been victims and, and colluders of this you know, automobile society that was foisted on us in the 19, uh, early 1940s and it really isn't uh, beneficial anymore to have car-dominated transport spaces. The city's developed a plan that will see a move away from single occupant vehicle driving in favour of walking, cycling and ride sharing. It also has an eye on automation, with no less than 12 companies in the region working on some form of self-driving technology. In the same way in which mobile phones have changed the way we communicate, a new generation of increasingly automated vehicles is poised to change the way we get around our cities. Here in San Francisco, one of the most congested cities in the United States, planners are looking at this technology and trying to work out how they can change our behaviour, particularly when it comes to cars. This is our, our prototype vehicle. It's a Google's testing its fully automated vehicles in four US cities. If traditional taxis were replaced with a fleet of self-driving cars like this, it's been estimated that fares would be one-tenth what they are today. Across a year, using them to get around would cost the average American half that of owning their own car, making it attractive, especially to a younger generation. They don't necessarily want to own a car the way that um, earlier generations did. I mean, that was really an associated, you know, a freedom to be able to get in your own car and travel wherever you want. And now I think people want that same freedom, but they don't necessarily need to be behind the wheel. The car's doing it all itself. Despite the death of a driver in a Tesla electric car in May when it was driving on autopilot, self-driving cars carry the promise of making roads safer. Nine out of ten accidents are caused by human error, and if a computer can do a better job, then crashes and accidents could be avoided. Drivers are very good at anticipating the future behaviours of other road users, but to get to the point the software is as good at doing that, or that the sensors are as good as the human eye at detecting those things, that's still quite a distance away. A shift to ride sharing in self-driving cars would see the number of cars on the road halve and with it congestion. It's a future in which the human rather than the vehicle will determine the shape and feel of our cities. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.